In this video, we will talk about SH Weeb, a human powered vehicle monorail, Pope Mobile, a vehicle made specifically for the Pope's public greetings, Amphicar descendant of the Volkswagen Schwimmwagen, and much more. Number 10. SH Weeb Preview The SH Weeb is a human powered vehicle monorail. It comprises two 200 meter long overhead rail circuits with heights ranging from 2 to 4 meters above the ground. High performance pedal powered vehicles are suspended underneath the rails. One track may accommodate between one and five cars, allowing teams to race against each other or against the time. Jeffrey Barnett, a Tokyo-based designer, created the Adventure Park ride in New Zealand as a proof of concept for an inventive, high-efficiency, zero-emission metropolitan transportation system. Given the amount of adrenaline in that bunch, the human-powered SH Weave holds its own. Because the bikes run on low-resistance tracks and the pods are significantly more aerodynamically efficient than a bicycle. With less frontal area, most riders may expect speeds of 4 to 5 km per hour, with far greater speeds expected on a longer circuit with a much longer straight. Number 9. Fritkar Podbike, a Norwegian company, is revamping its management team as it expands its operations and prepares to launch its Frickar four-wheeled electric vehicle this year. It features four wheels, a fully enclosed cockpit, filtered air, and additional heating to keep riders warm throughout the Nordic winters. The roof also helps with aerodynamic efficiency. However, it may be removed on hotter days. The Frickar has been developed to travel automatically in the future as part of a new transportation ecosystem and will ride at a speed of 6 km h in driverless mode. The 2.3-meter-long, 90kg Frickar might also be called an electric cargo bike, with 160 liters of storage capacity beneath the main seat for a tiny passenger. Number 8. Lunar Roving Vehicle the Lunar Roving Vehicle is a four-wheeled battery-powered rover that was deployed on the moon during the final three flights of the American Apollo program in 1971 and 1972. It is commonly referred to as the Moon Buggy, a pun on the phrase Dune Buggy. Each LRV, built by Boeing, weighs 460 pounds without a payload. It had a maximum cargo of 1,080 pounds, which included two crew, equipment, and lunar samples, and was meant to travel at a maximal speed of 8 miles per hour. However, it attained a top speed of 11.2 miles per hour on its final mission, Apollo 17. Number 7. 1942 Loaf Electric Electric vehicles are becoming mainstream, and we are becoming accustomed to the new quiet way of transportation. The Loaf Electric concept car is a one-of-a-kind concept by industrial designer Paul Arzens. He was interested in alternative fuels and chose electricity. This egg was his personal car, and there was only one produced. As a result, it is extremely rare. The whole automobile was handcrafted, and Arzens' creative touches can be observed throughout the body. This historic automobile is now in its original form and has not been fixed, making it even more unique. Number 6. Kinner Car The Kinner, designed by Ari Jukka a Finnish guitar maker and classic vehicle restorer, draws its name from the Finnish term Kinnari, which was used to describe Velmobiles in the 1940s. For those who are unfamiliar with the vehicles, they are essentially recumbent trikes that enclose the rider within an aerodynamic body. The present prototype is 285 cm long, 100 cm broad, and has a 220 cm wheelbase, which allows it to be legally categorized as an electrically assisted bicycle, at least in Finland. It boasts lightweight fast rolling road cycle wheels, a composite chassis with a flexible forward opening hood for simple access, comfortable bucket seats, and an airplane style steering yoke, among other features. Number 5. 1961 Amphicar. The Amphicar Model 770 is an amphibious automobile that was introduced at the 1961 New York Auto Show, built in West Germany and sold in the United States from 1961 to 1967, with production ending in 1965. The amphibious vehicle was designed by Hans Trappel and constructed by the Quant Group in Lübeck and berlin borsigwalde with a total of 3,878 produced in a single generation. The Amphicar, a descendant of the Volkswagen Schwimmwagen, offered only modest performance in comparison to most modern boats or cars, including navigation lights and a flag as required by the Coast Guard, and, after execution in water, required greasing at 13 points, one of which required the removal of the rear seat. 
If you didn't know, the term amphicar is a combination of the words amphibious and car. The model designation 770 was chosen because an amphicar could reach speeds of 7 miles per hour on water and 70 miles per hour on dry land. If you're enjoying the video so far, make sure to like it and subscribe to the channel. Number 4. Pope Mobile the Holy See arrived in the age of the automobile very late. The Pope Mobile, on the other hand, is a precisely constructed motor vehicle used by the Catholic Church's Pope during public engagements. It is commonly regarded as the old Seti Adjustatoria's replacement, and it was created to allow the Pope to be more visible while greeting big crowds. The bulletproof glass was installed in the Pope Mobile. For the Pope's visit to the UK in 1982, British Leyland delivered both Leyland T-4-5 lorry based and Range Rover SUV based armored Pope mobiles. One of the two T-4-5 based cars used was auctioned off for £37,000 in 2006, while the other is housed at the British Commercial Vehicle Museum in Leyland, UK. Number 3. On Motion Ono Let's be clear, according to Ono, the e-load bike for the last mile has more room than traditional road bikes and can be used in the rainy season because of its holistic design, which includes weather protection. The Green Pack 1.4 kWh battery ranges up to 30 km, which may be doubled on a single trip by swapping it with a second battery. The spare battery is transported via a built-in holder in the car. Electric support up to 25 km h makes it possible to move things weighing up to 200 kg. Onos can be driven on cycling lanes and are legal to operate without a driver's license due to their tiny exterior dimensions. The load volume of the modular containers is 2 meter cubic. Therefore, four modules may replace a truckload volume. An RFIC chip guarantees simplicity of operation by locking and unlocking the vehicle as well as opening and uncoupling the container. Number 2. 1981 DeLorean DMC-12 After serving as Pontiac's performance gear in the 1960s, John Z. DeLorean's vision was the stainless steel DMC-12. The DeLorean was a new endeavor built from the ground up that eventually ran into manufacturing issues and was never replaced. Its role in automotive legend has a cult following among owners who admire the uniqueness of the design. Purists were put off by DeLorean's use of stainless steel for the body panels. This fairly eclectic option was heavy and irreparable, but it was corrosion-resistant and had a superb polish from the start. The stainless panels were joined to a fiberglass underbody with painted front and back bumpers. The DeLorean's performance was not its selling point. The Renault-sourced V6 only generated 130 horsepower, resulting in a 40-second acceleration to 100 miles per hour. Number 1. Fender Blender Pro It's a smoothie-making bike, an obvious attraction at any event, and a meaningful method to viscerally engage your audience. Humans, young and old, like human strength and food. The first person to rise begins cycling, and a vortex forms in the blender container in front of her. It isn't easy at first, but the understanding that she's in control pulls her ahead. A crowd gathers as the pleasant sound of ice smashing draws them in, rooting for her to give it her all. Her heart is pounding, she's out of breath, and the smoothie is ready in half a minute. She rings the bell, watches as the thickness is poured into cups, and everyone toasts with the lovely delicacy she made. It's a basic engagement, but it's uplifting and brings people together, which is precisely what you need to attract your target demographic. It's a hit among kids. So which of these human power technologies is your favorite? Comment below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.